Hi there, my name is John Stevens, pastor of Zion Lutheran Church in Oregon City, Oregon, and we're part of the ELCA, and welcome to Dollar Store Children's Sermons, where we take a look at the lectionary text, time to an item from the Dollar Tree. This is for the sixth Sunday after Pentecost, and we are looking at the gospel lesson. Mary and Martha distracting, sitting at the feet of Jesus, and, um, and being worried, and Mary picking the better part, as Jesus says, so Mary and Martha this tension that goes between the two. So, um, and if you're doing an adult Bible study, you'll definitely have people around that um, relate to Mary, or usually it's the folks that uh, relate to Martha that tend to be the vocal ones because Martha seems to get a bad rap. And there we are. <laughs> so, uh, I have a link on the website, uh, dskidsermons.com, that takes, uh, that looks at uh, one from a few years ago that talks about balance. And so take a look at that if you'd like, because this idea of balance between work and play, work and worship, that, um, that our life is this life of balance. And it's a really neat thing with a paper clip using balance. So there's a couple of, um, occasionally the Dollar Tree will have, I'm grabbing this, occasionally the Dollar Tree will have these little birds. And, I, and what I like about this is that Again, this can talk about balance. Um, well, here, we'll get this over here like this. And again, so um, I haven't seen them for a while there. So it's just but this idea of balance. So you can take a look at that. But I'm looking at this time is about the distracting. Um, you're worried and distracted by many things and about how Jesus asks ultimately that we put Jesus first in everything that we do. And so I'm going to talk about how easy it is to get distracted. Squirrel. You know, the movie Up is a fantastic one, Squirrel, of uh, being distracted. And so the items I'm going to uh, use it from the Dollar Tree is party favors that make a noise or some shiny object. Um, you know, like if, if you go fishing, you use a lure and the idea that being lured because most lures have the shiny object where it will uh, catch the attention of... Um, of the fish. Uh, I think, you know, one of the jokes around uh, magicians, as you know, I do sleight of hand magic, or if you don't, now you do, do sleight of hand magic, and a lot of magic items tend to be um, shiny and and glittery, and so it's the idea that it's like, we, um, you know, you walk into a place and you're like, um, and you just get distracted. I have people come into my office and I've got all kinds of toys and different, um, different odds odd and end kind of things like um, like this here, this uh, bottle with a Rubik's Cube that's in the bottle that's been put in there, you know, and, um, and people will look at that and they'll have a conversation with me and they'll get distracted by something. Um, and it's very easy to get distracted uh, just in there. I mean, I'm looking around going, oh, I should tell you about this and all that. Um, sometimes when I'm talking, I know people will actually want to see the hell wall that's in the back on my um, door. I guess that's the hell door. It actually just goes out to the parking lot, which isn't um, hell, but um, but uh, cartoons from the far side about hell. You know, all those things that can distract us um, from focusing on the most important thing. And in the gospel lesson, it's Jesus. And Jesus is heading to Jerusalem. Jesus is heading to the cross. And he knows. It's like, um, pay, uh, spend time with me. Uh, sit with me, hear me, and um, uh, all of the things around us that can distract us, put those either to the side or um, in them as you do your daily tasks, keeping Jesus at the forefront of the mind. A lot of language that I wouldn't use in the kids' sermons, but the idea of being distracted, that is like universal age, you know, up and that. I mean, there we are. So that's the direction I'm going. I hope Something in there uh, can be um, can be a springboard for your own thinking. Uh, a noise maker from the Dollar Tree, a mirror that's glittery, or in their um, in their craft section, or next to it, they've got um, maybe a, a vase that's got mirror pieces of mirror that have been put in there. So uh, again, thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a fantastic week.